This is another complete failure. How in the world do we get into this position? The idea that there is a witness who sees a guy come out of the bushes and goes and gets in the car, if that's the complete set of facts, and just has the presence of mind to take a picture, getting a license plate that they can then put into the license plate reader. Are you kidding me? That's the extent of the service that they're doing? You can't put a uniform uh, officer out there. You can't have Palm Beach Sheriff out there. You can't have a Secret Service agent out there. We got lucky again, as Paul Morrow has said. If that didn't happen, we wouldn't know where this shooter, uh, where this shooter was or would-be shooter was. The FBI have confirmed that Donald Trump was the target of a second assassination attempt. This time, he was playing golf in Florida. The former president is unharmed and is back at Mar-a-Lago. Fox News has named 58-year-old Ryan Wesley Routh as the suspect who was taken into custody after a tip-off from the public. Our Sky News Washington correspondent Annalise Nielsen joins us now with all the details. Annalise, we're learning more and more about the suspect who targeted Donald Trump. He's 58 years old. What else do we know about him? Well, we know he was posting quite a bit online, and this is all via the New York Post. They've found photos, they say, is of the suspect that's now in custody in Florida, accused of attempting to take the life of Donald Trump in this extraordinary incident this afternoon. So these are photos that have been obtained by the New York Post that they say show him online, specifically speaking about a number of uh, issues that go uh, more towards him having an ideology on the left. But we will wait and see exactly what comes out in all of this because he will be subject to some intense questioning now he's in custody. So we can tell you what took place this afternoon. Police say that they were made aware of an incident when the rifle was spotted going through the chain link fence at Trump International Golf Course where Donald Trump was playing. And so after that, there was a sighting of a person absconding into a Nissan, a black Nissan nearby. And you can see on the fences uh, before there where the rifle was tipped up against the fence was what was discovered by Secret Service shortly afterwards. So this is what the local county has put out after this bulletin was put out for the car with the number plate matching after a witness spotted the incident and took a photo that was then handed to police. He was then taken into custody quite some distance away, we understand, from, uh, from um, the Trump International Golf Course. But this all happened this afternoon in very quick succession. What we do know is he came awfully close to Donald Trump as he was playing golf. And uh, they say it was really the, the intervention of a bystander witnessing all this happen that helped main, make sure that they took him into custody so quickly. And he was able to spot this rifle barrel sticking out of the fence and immediately engage that individual, at which time the individual took off. So that's what we know about the investigation. We have somebody in custody right now. 
Laura, we can show you as well. We have the first photo of Donald Trump that's been shared since the incident. This was posted by Speaker of the House Mike Johnson, who was visiting Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago this afternoon. So he's posted this on Twitter saying, Kelly and I are departing Mar-a-Lago where we just spent a few hours with President Trump and are thanking God for protecting him today once again. No leader in American history has endured more attacks and remained so strong and resilient. He's unstoppable. So remember in the order of succession, he is technically the third most powerful person in America after the vice president. Uh, so this is a real uh, power group that was there this afternoon to witness all of this taking place. What we do know is that he came awfully close. We're told by officials three to 500 feet. So that's around 200 meters just above. And we know that the rifle or the gun had a scope on it, which makes it uh, more effective for long range shooting. Probably between three and 500 yards, but with a rifle and a scope like that, that's not a long distance. And of course, Laura, the question now is with two assassination attempts in two months, why has this been allowed to happen again? And what protections are needed for Donald Trump to continue on the campaign trail? The local authorities have said that he wouldn't get the same kind of protection that a president would get, which would have changed how the perimeter was managed at the golf course. You got to understand the golf course is surrounded by shrubbery. So, so when somebody gets into the shrubbery, they're pretty much out of sight. All right. And at this level that he is at right now, he's not the sitting president. If he was, we would have had this higher golf course around it. But because he's not, the security is limited to the areas that the Secret Service deems possible. Donald Trump has shared a statement via a fundraising email because this is election season after <laughs> all. So he said, alert from Trump, there were gunshots in my vicinity, but before rumors start spiraling out of control, I wanted you to hear this first. I am safe and well, nothing will slow me down. I will never surrender. I will always love you for supporting me. Unity, peace, make America great again. May God bless you. We've also had a tweet put out by Kamala Harris uh, this morning. It was shortly after the incident. And we can show you that there. I've been briefed on reports of gunshots fired near former President Trump and his property in Florida. And I am glad he is safe. And uh, she continued on there to say that uh, violence has no place in America. So uh, there will obviously be more discussion around how they can continue these campaign events. No doubt there'll be an increase to her security as well. And what we're waiting to see is a response from Donald Trump, whether he'll wait to address this at his next rally, he has a few more in the books, or whether he'll make some kind of statement on what's happened today on his own uh, terms, on his own platforms. Yep, he does things on his own terms, but this is certainly going to change how he can move around the country in the lead up to the election. Annalise, thank you.